Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do episode 4. We're going to do episode 3 of Pokemon Mystery Dungeons. Um, this is where the storyline gets real interesting, so I hope you guys enjoy. So let's dive on in. Alrighty, so after you get those Poke Camps, there's a commotion in the town square. And we got Jump Love asking for help from Shiftry. Don't come for me. So his friend is stuck and he needs a wind. And then Lumber is kind of explaining what's going on. Um, he's begging for a rescue mission. See that guy? They're the one in the middle with the pointy nose. He's a Pokemon named Shiftry. He's got his own rescue team. But this seems greedy. They don't work unless they get paid royally. Jump off some begging for help, but I feel sorry for that po poor Pokemon. Oh, well, what do you want? Oh, it's Alakazam. That's Alakazam. Okay, rather full-hearted to save Jump Up's friend. If we need a strong wind, your feathers can do that easily. Okay, I'll do it. Wow. We agreed without any argument. Say, who are they? What? You don't know. It's Alakazam's team. They're famous. There's Charizard, his feeling for their work in the mountains. Tiger Manitar takes great pride in his body armor and strength. And then Alakazam doesn't like physical attacks. He fights his psychic powers endowed with an IQ of 5,000. Apparently he's memorized everything that's gone on in the world. He does the commanding. He's clearly in charge. The need for thanks. It's only natural that you get help. If anyone turns you down again, come see me. Take care. Cool. So nervous. I wouldn't expect anything less than a gold rank rescue team. What's wrong? What's up? It's fine, nothing. Maybe Alakazam knows that we are a human. Or something's different with us. Cool. We need to become just like them. Let's recruit more members and make a rescue team first class. Charmander is so excited. And then we have this stupid little Gengar right here. There's always, there always has to be a protagonist, antagonist, antagonist. Always has to be an antagonist. Um, so this is like the next morning. This is after doing a couple of dungeons. This isn't like directly the next morning. Flap, flap. I love how there's always like flap, flap, and then we'll go clunk. Yep, just like that. I wonder what was delivered. Probably a rescue team. Let's see. Pokemon News Special Edition. Introducing Rainbow Gummies. Camps are gummies. Gummies are for camps. These gummies can help raise your. Um, like HP by one point or power up by one point, or they can give you like special abilities that your whole team can get. This actually is is actually the next morning. And then I got three rainbow gummies and they were sent to storage. So you can go to your Poke Camps, like your rescue Poke Camps, and get give them to like your Pokemon. So like my Kipper Char Charmander can get them. Um, and so can your other friends in the um, camps. This is after a couple of days of doing dungeon work and like doing the normal, like going to the bulletin board and grabbing um, requests and that kind of stuff. So this is the place where that team called Top Squad is. There's nothing here. Depressing, isn't it? Who would run a rescue team from a dump like this? Oh, over there, mailbox. Check it out. Now wait a second, what do you think you're doing? Yes, rescue job offers. Ooh la la, isn't that rather tasty? Those weren't for us, don't butt in. It doesn't matter who does it. We're a rescuing team too, I'll have you know. All we ever get up to is no good, wanna know how it works. If we have the cover of rescue team, we can get away with so much more. We have our eyes on world domination. What? World domination? You heard right. 
That's why we're ranking in the cash and adding to our gang the world with ours. The rescue team of evil team meanies. See around team meanies. That was real creative and real thoughtful, wasn't it? We took off one unbelievable bunch. Oh no, it's empty. They took everything. Flap, flap. They act like the ones from the mailbox are the only ones you can get. There's a whole bulletin board posted. So I don't understand it, but that's fine. We're in luck. Pelipper delivered some mail. We can go on rescue missions, but those guys, they better not try it again. So this is after, this part is actually after quite a bit of dungeon work, probably like three or four days of dungeon work. And I'm just fidgeting over here with my chapstick. So it looks like Hierarchy's coming up to us. Please, please help my friend. What's the matter? I was playing with my friend Menopod. Men Menopod got lost in the woods. Oh, I see, that does sound bad. Ooh, Gengar is here. Have no fear, we're here to save your chum. Hold on, Caterpie came to us for help. You think you can do this rescue with your amateur level skills? What did you say? Doesn't matter who does the rescuing. See, the guy that does the rescuing gets to be the hero. This is gonna pay how, to, how about we do this? How about you give the reward to the team that brings back your chum first? But I, I don't have any money. Oh, don't be worried about that, my little friend. I'm sure we can get a nice reward from you when it's all said and done. Oh yeah, you can even join our team. There's an offer you can't refuse. When you join us, Caterpie will let you be a big wheel at Team Meanies. Best to deal with Charmian at the first one, but get it wins. Come on, let's get this done. Don't worry, we'll save your friend first. Fairy. Let's get going. Um, what's nice is you don't actually have to do that one right away if you don't think your level is there. You can actually do other um, other dungeons and all that kind of stuff. So I went through the whole dungeon, and then this is kind of like the peak. And this is where you see Team Meanies, Gengar, and his crew. Um, so far, so for you to go ahead, what? Hey Gengar, why do you always mess with us? Oh, didn't we tell you? Our name is World Domination. We'll take whatever reward we can get from Caterpie, and Caterpie will join us too. That brings us closer. And for you, you are so sorry to say, but your party's over right here, right now. So during this dungeon, I was able to get a lot of different friends. Um, so that's why I have Aaron, Farfetch, Teddy Saurus, Hochiana, and um, Yana. Uh, I think it's Yana. So then you can see they all start to kind of move to fight the other Pokemon. And what sucked is they freaking put me to sleep, so half this fight I couldn't even do anything. My little mutt kept just sitting there. But I wanted to show you guys the fights so that we guys, again, you can see how the boss fights work. Um, if you want to see dungeons and how you go through the dungeons, though there's a lot of that in my first episode, you can watch that video here. Um, if you guys do really want to see some of that dungeon work throughout all this, um, I can start recording that and adding that into these videos. So what's really cool is if you have a lot of Pokemon, they can, um, if one Pokemon is like burned, if they're hurt, another Pokemon will be like, hey, we see one's low, do you want this Pokemon to eat it? Like an Orenberry for health, or Picha, Picha for poison, that kind of stuff. So you have to defeat all three, but you can see, like, I can use, um, my Orin Berry from other Pokemon. Farfetch is actually pretty good with that Brave Bird. Like Brave Bird is a strong move. And you can see they're all fighting and all taking out these different Pokemon. Well, my Kip is still asleep. Wait, one Pokemon's been taken out and I'm asleep. And then I think, yeah, like I'm literally asleep this entire fight. I don't think I woke up at all. Yeah, I didn't wake up at all during this fight, so it was just all my partner's Pokemon. <laughs> so embarrassing. Um, but it's pretty cool how this all works. And the team fights are fun. You'll pay for this, don't you forget it. No one should hold us back now. Let's find Metapod. Um, excuse me. Did you maybe come looking for me? You must be Metapod. 
Let's get you home, Catherine was worried about you. I was scared, so I kept my shell hardened and waited and waited. Thank you. You're welcome. This is great. Welcome back, Metapod. Thank you, Caterpie. And thank you, Charmander and Fairy. But I don't have any money. No, no, no. No reward. Metapod is back safe. Cool. You're even more cool than I thought. I want to go on rescue missions. That'd be great. Chase that dream. I have an idea. Fairy, we should make this place a proper rescue team base. Something impressive. That's cool. A rescue team base. I want to work here when I get older. Let's work hard and build our own rescue team. You're very charming here. Thank you again. Okay, bye. Be careful coming, going home. Sorry. Well, we ended up working for free, but that's the right thing to do. And we got the show Gengar's team a thing or two. That was a tiring day. Let's do some more good tomorrow. So we're going to end the video here. Um, the last two episodes I played through separately without doing a cam and then recorded voiceover with it and I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to record myself while I'm playing. Um, I think that's just more engaging. Sorry the last two episodes are, I, I feel like are pretty boring. Or if you just don't want to see my face at all and you just want to see the plot, let me know. Um, I will have these videos too so I might just compile like the whole storyline at the end as well. But uh, I hope you guys are having a good day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And I hope you guys stay safe. Let me know if there's any additional content that you want to see. And uh, if you do like my channel and if you do like me, you could hit the subscribe button. I'm not going to blame you if you don't, but you could. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.